I am Dr. Aguila Sami from Chennai. I am going to show a case of left secondary cholesteatoma with central perforation with auto-mastoidectomy cavity filled with cholesteatoma. This is a, a patient of 45 years old male patient and not previously operated and because of the cholesteatoma he has developed a MRM like auto-mastoidectomy cavity which on the left here you can appreciate on the CT scan and there is erosion of the facial canal horizontal part, then lateral semicircular canal and uh, superior semicircular canal. And the audiogram shows there is moderate conductive hearing loss on the left side, right side it is normal. I took the patient under local anesthesia. You can see the perforation and there is cholesterol in the from, uh, middle ear that's over the promontory, very large perforation. And the automastoid cavity. filled with cholesterol. This is a 0 degree telescope view. Later I will be using the 70 degree telescope. Now I am giving the canal wall in infiltration. Already I have given the postural infiltration. This is superiorly, then anteriorly, then inferiorly I give a ropeovicain 0.5% with adrenaline with a 1cc syringe with a 26 gauge one and a half inch needle. <clears throat> Usually I prepare the ear canal with hair removal cream. <coughs> Unfortunately in this case I didn't use. So I have to trim the hairs with the iris scissor on the table. So cholesterol flakes removing with the suction. 16 gauge section and some part of the middle ear cholesterol also sticking over to the promontory and taking out with the suction and you can see the eustachian tube orifice quite wide open and there is no ossicles all the ossicles are eroded only the stapes foot plate was remaining I am taking out the cholesterol from the mastoid cavity it was going up to the mastoid tip a big mastoid cavity as you would have appreciated in the CT scan please watch these videos on large TV screens which you will appreciate better do not watch on mobiles the camera used is stores 4K camera and the telescope now I am using is a 0 degree call stores telescope later I will be switching on to the call stores 70 degree telescope all 4 mm of course I use 3 mm scopes also here because of the big cavity and everything lot working space I am using the 4 mm telescopes patients are very cooperative with a good local in infiltration with IV sedation of dexmeditomidin and fentanyl. These cholesterol are very sticky. With the endoscope you have one, only one hand to work. So you have to work slowly. It's a highly edited video. Most of the Vital parts are sewn. This case I am I will not be obliterating, I will be leaving open the cavity. That is a in the cavity. That's a question about taking from the master tip area. Later I will be showing with 70 degree telescope. The horizontal part of the facial canal was eroded. This is the cholesterol sticking to the eroded lateral and the superior part of uh, superior semicircular canals, gently peeling out because the patient, whenever I touch that area, patient is getting giddiness. <coughs>
friendly i let we can the doubtful area of matrix so i will not be obliterated in the cavity with cartilage even though initially i had the idea of obliterating with the tagal cartilage finally i didn't do it do not bury the epithelium that's a golden rule i am very gently working because the patient is having giddiness whenever i touch the area <coughs> sorry gently peeling the colostoma with the forceps sorry an alligator forceps or crocodile forceps now i have switched switch to the 70 degree telescope you can see more colostoma in the antrum and the, up to the mastoid tip i have not made any canal wall incision this is not a previously operated case although this automastoidectomy cavity looks like a beautifully done mrm cavity with a small rosen's knife gently elevating the matrix with the endoscope the patient avoids the posterior incision and everything healing is faster and uh, under local anesthesia they care they go home the same day that's some air cells in the mastoid tip area where the epithelium has gone matrix has gone which i am gently peeling it out without leaving behind any epithelium <clears throat> a colostoma forming out of a retraction pocket is called a primary colostoma Here there is a large CP following which colostoma developing is called a secondary colostoma. Since the facial nerve is dehiscent, I am very carefully, even though it is mastoid area, but in the middle area that is sinus to many area and everything, I was very careful. some people use cotton ball dissection you can do some people use gel foam dissections but i have this uh, type of dissection my method Finally, a uh, type three osteoplasty is also done using a septal spur, homologous septal spur, preserved in seventy percent alcohol or spirit. Which I will be showing at the last part.
so I will be using a Frenkel's of forceps to take out the cholesterol after it has been dissected well. The suction is pulling the dissected cholesterol matrix and this specimen will be sent for histopathology examination. The bulk of plastetoma has been removed. Still, some areas there is a bits and bits plastetoma attached that are be gently dissecting and taking out. This is over the eroded semicircular canals. Whenever I touch, so I have to give an stimatil because whenever I touch that area, patient gets giddiness. So you have to be very gentle. Do not fully take out and make a a fistula of the semicircular canals and make a dead ear which is very very important small bits stick into the air cells is being removed gently remember it is an edited video so many steps may not be shown but I did a full clearance of the cholesterol without giving any incision anywhere and uh, all these steps are done with a 70 degree telescope. This is a vital area, eroded lateral and superior semicircular canals area. So I have to very gently dissect. Using round knife, suction, everything very simple. Without producing a fistula. Remember, drill or chisel is not used in this case. Even though I had kept everything ready. Let's be on beautiful step. The inferior, anterior and posterior margins of the perforations were freshened. Finally, and the temporalis fascia was harvested. Of course, I could have used an homologous septal cartilage also for crafting in this case. Just with the suction pressure, gently peeling the matrix. Even though there is some areas of suspicious matrix sticking to the eroded semicircular canal, so I am not obliterating the cavity, I leave it open. Margins of the perforation has been freshened now, and some cholesterol sticking to the promontory area has been removed. So I have kept an homologous septal cartilage on the foot plate
सटाई थ्री टेमोनोप्लास्टी to improve the hearing then this uh, gel foam is kept surrounding it to stabilize the osculoplast and the middle layer is also filled with gel foam A temporal fascia dried one after soaking in saline is placed without covering the cavity just over the uh, reduced ridges area then gel foam is placed and ear canal is filled with gel foam and pack some people use bib pack which i used to do initially during my microscopic mastectomy days nowadays i don't use thank you for watching you can contact me at the following address anytime see you in another beautiful video thank you